Hey guys, thanks so much for joining us for part two of our bus build. In this part, we're going to have a look at our bed frame, our kitchen cabinetry, the bench top, and a few other bits and pieces as well. We made everything in our kitchen from scratch. This is just a quick look over how we did that. If you would like a further look into anything or if you have any questions, please let us know in the comments below or have a look on our Instagram stories. Our bed frame is made from the structural treated timber pine from Bunnings. We made it a pretty basic bed frame. We just used a U-shaped system um, at the top and bottom of the bed. From there, we screwed it into our ply floor and then we bolted it through the wheel arches as well. Then we also put some of the timber around the wall and we sicker flexed and screwed it into the metal. And then we screwed through the bed frame into that just to give it that extra strong um, support. So it's a very strong bed. We wanted to make sure that we could maintain as much of that under bed storage area as possible. So we didn't want to have any legs coming down from the middle or anything like that. So this way worked perfect for us. We still need to put our bed slats on there. We're holding off on this for the moment because we still need to get in and around that area and it's gonna make it a lot harder if there's bed slats there. We'll also be adding some bracing for up underneath the bed just to support that middle area as well. From there, we started on our kitchen cabinetry. We built our kitchen out of white melamine. I think it was 15 mil from Bunnings. We just got the um, raw edge melamine and we added the iron on edge tape ourselves. This is a very time consuming and tedious task, but we're really happy with how it turned out. So basically with the iron on edge tape, you just get it in a roll. I think we got about 30 meters um, and then you just apply the iron gently and then it has glue on it which um, seals it onto the edges and then you just get a file and just file the edges off to tidy it up a bit. So this process took us a couple of days at least, um, it is a very slow process and then once we were finished with the kitchen we did the exact same for our bench seats as well. So we have some bench seats that run along the left hand side of the bus one seat is above the wheel arch and it's a little bit smaller and then we also have three seats in front of that um, which have storage in them. One of them will be used for our electrical system, our batteries, things like that and then the other ones will just be used for storage. So we did the same for those, we had to cut out all of the melamine, get all the measurements exact and then iron on edge tape all of the edges as well and then put it all together. So the next step was putting our bedside wall up. We used the same treated structural pine from Bunnings that we used for our bed frame and we built a straight wall between the kitchen area and the bed. This wall will be used for our switch panel. So we'll have a switch panel on our bedside which will have light switches and things like that on it. And then on the other side we'll have a power point, another little switch panel and a USB port. We wanted this wall to look a bit DIY looking, um, a little bit rustic. So we just used pallet wood that we picked up for free. The next step was cutting out our drawers and cupboard doors. What we did was we got all the measurements for the drawer fronts and the cupboard doors. We cut them out and then we sort of picked out a style that we wanted. We looked at a few different ways of doing this but thought this one would be um, the cheapest and the easiest. We cut out the different sizes that we needed and then we cut off some little extra pieces to put as an outline on the drawer fronts to give it a little bit of style. Um, and then we sanded those up. After we gave it a little sand, we gave it a few coats of paint. We only went with two just because we wanted it to look a little bit rustic looking. We like that look, so just 
just gave it a few rough coats of paint and it came out really, really nice. Once we had our cabinetry and our drawer and cupboard doors done, we made a start on our bench top. We originally bought a bench top from Bunnings for about $300, um, but it was really, really heavy and we thought we could make one ourselves. So we picked up some pallet wood for free off the side of the road and we cut it into the different sizes that we wanted. And then we made a frame out of whiteboard and then we screwed the pallet wood onto the frame. Once we had the correct shape built up, we started sanding it all back and making it all nice and smooth. Then we picked out a sink that we liked and we cut the shape out. We made sure to keep the piece that we cut out of the bench top to use as a sink cover and also as a chopping board. Then we shopped around for the right colour stain that we liked and we did a few coats of stain on the bench top before we put bench top oil on the top. It came out really nicely with the bench top oil and the stain. We like it so much more than the bench top that we had originally purchased and it's a lot lighter as well. Once the bench shot was finished, we put it on top of our cabinetry and fixed it down. And then we started on our drawer and cupboard door handles, which we just made out of rope. We chose rope because it was really cheap and really light. We wanted something that wouldn't hurt our legs if we walked into it. So we chose the rope. Once we had our handles on, all we had to do was add in our tap. Our tap is from Titus Tech Form, but we were very lucky enough to pick it up for free. And this was the finished product. If you have any questions about anything that we've done throughout this video, please just let us know in the comments below. You can also have a look at how we did things in our Instagram stories as well. Thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to see more, subscribe or follow on our Instagram and TikTok links below.